Well, it's a momentous week for the Elizabeth line. Not only is the line now running directly from one end to the other, but Bond Street station, wow. the last station that had not yet opened, is now open. So we are going to take a trip today, which means that we are running from West Drayton straight through into the tunnel uh, via Paddington into Bond Street, and then we will take a look around Bond Street. <laughs> So we're approaching Paddington and previously on the Elizabeth line this is where the train would have terminated and you would then have had to have walked right across the station from one end to the other to get to the uh, tunnel section if you wanted to head on to Liverpool Street and if you wanted to go on to Shenfield you would then have to get out again. Um, however, this is now running directly through central London, so we are about to head into the running tunnels. So we've reached Bond Street and we are just waiting for this train to leave and then we will take a look around the station. Off it goes, the doors are closing, two sets of doors here. Wow. Yeah. And the train is on its way. It's cavernous, isn't it, Paul? Oh my gosh, there's so much fresh air. And it does seem quite similar to the station at Tottenham Court Road as well. And yeah. now each station on the underground section is especially designed to reflect that particular area. I'm not really sure what the Bond Street area is mm. supposed to sort of like signify, but perhaps there will be some clues as mm. we head out. So what can we see in the local area here, Paul? Well, there's Oxford Circus, and then we are on Bond Street. So we're kind of like over here area. So it kind of runs between Hanover Square and Davies Street. And we're near Selfridges as well. 
This is Selfridges. And Grosvenor Square, which of course used to be home to the US Embassy. We've been there. There's the Roosevelt Memorial listed. Barclay Square. Oh, and then there's John Lewis. Oh, that's where we're going today. <laughs> And look, similarly as we have at some of the other Elizabeth Line stations, we've got the totem pole signposts. So when you get out at the Hanover Square exit, you can head to Hanover Square, of course, also Oxford Street or Brook Street. Well, I think Bond Street Station is pretty nice, but we do have a criticism about our journey on the Elizabeth Line today, don't we, Paul? I think that the uh, gaps between landing at the platform and taking off was a bit long for my liking. Yeah, there were quite long um, periods Interval. where we were stopped at signals um, and it didn't seem to have any explanation as to why that was, especially coming into the tunnels. We stopped for several minutes and then uh, at one point they said that there was another three minute wait to get us back onto the timetable. So for a line that is saying that it's pretty fast, um, today we found it to be anything but. Um, and that is very disappointing. What I'm, I hope is not the case is that now that everything's linked up together, that that is going to be um, the regular situation because that would just basically ruin the entire experience of the Elizabeth line. Um, so hopefully the next time we take it, um, there won't be issues like this. Perhaps it's only teething troubles. Um, also, the uh, electronic um, timetable voiceover on board wasn't working uh, for some reason. So the driver was having to announce, uh, make all the announcements and was apologizing for that as well. Um, but again, perhaps it's only teething troubles now that the entire line is all joined up together. But, you know, all in all, the Elizabeth Line is a great addition to the transport network in London. And let's hope things can only get better.